For today's instructional video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use a square bill crankbait. I'd like to thank Hunter Sills for being the first person to comment on my last how-to video. And for my next uh, instructional type video, it's going to be uh, my choice as to which lure I review. But uh, you guys should stay tuned because it's definitely one you don't want to miss. Here are the uh, square bills that I like to use. My favorite is the KVD 1.5. Uh, the colors I like to use are bluegill, chartreuse for when the modern waters are more muddy, then uh, pearl for when I'm trying to imitate shad. I have uh, a KVD 2.5 for if I was in a tournament, they're on a crankbait bite, and I was trying to upgrade on some bigger fish, so I'd pull this one out. And lastly, I have a uh, live target and a crawfish pattern for when I'm uh, grinding around rocks, and uh, crawfish are the main type of forage. Yeah, it's one. So right now I'm fishing uh, one of my favorite places to throw a square bill, which is a rip wrap bank. Oh, quick release. All right, let me make sure. You, yep, uh, yep, he's good to go. So basically, a uh, square bill is my favorite bait to use when I'm trying to cause a uh, reaction strike. And a reaction strike is when um, you bring your bait past the bass and uh, they strike it out of instinct. Uh, there's th three main ways that you can usually get a bass to strike. Uh, one is rea uh, reaction like I just dis discussed. Another one is uh, hunger. So say you're fishing a uh, big worm or jig and cr crawling along the bottom. A bass sees it as an easy meal. It'll come over and uh, eat it. And the last way is uh, irritation. Or <clears throat> irritation. For example, if you throw a buzz bait past a piece of cover six or seven times and the bass is finally like, all right, I'm fed up with this and goes and strikes at it. Or if you're fishing, uh, if you're fishing during the spawn, and you have your bait on the bed, and uh, you keep on shaking that bait right in front of the bass's face until uh, he or she, or until he or she can't take it anymore, and uh, they might strike you then as well. When you guys are fishing the uh, square bill crankbait, and you're trying to draw strikes. Uh, the key is to create a reaction strike, as I mentioned earlier, and you're probably not going to do that if you're just casting into open water and uh, ret retrieving the uh, bait straight in. The key is to uh, get the bait to ricochet off hard cover. And right now I'm fishing this uh, riprap bank and I'm casting at a 45 degree angle so that the bait runs across all of these rocks here. You probably can't tell, but my line is uh, zigzagging all over the place as I'm retrieving it. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just doing a nice steady retrieve. Uh, you don't want to go too slow because uh, then the bait will dive into the rocks and get lodged. So the best retrieve for fishing rip wraps is a uh, medium retrieve. Then uh, some other good places you can use the square bill crankbait is around docks, and you can get the bait to uh, to ricochet off dock pilings. And the uh, square bill crankbait is more effective than a regular crankbait around this uh, hard structure because the uh, lip, as you can see, is square as opposed to the rounded lip on uh, normal crankbaits. So what that does is that'll allow the bait when it hits something. It'll have a wider, it'll have a uh, wider ricochet off that hard structure, as opposed to a uh, rounded lip, and that'll help prevent your your hooks from getting stuck in anything. And um, a third place I like to use a, a square bill <coughs> would be would be lay downs or stick ups. Another tip I have for you guys is uh, after you use any type of bait to prevent rust, you want to let that bait dry completely before you use it again. So what I do is. Um, I put my baits in this pocket right here to let them air dry overnight before I put them back in my box. And obviously if you have a treble hook bait, that's not going to go very well with this mesh pocket. It'll get all tangled and stuff. So what I use are these uh, hook bonnets. Put them on the hook, on the trebles. They're uh, ventilated to, uh, let, to let the hooks dry completely and the bait will dry naturally as well. And uh, get these from Bass Pro Shop. They're super cheap. They come in three different sizes. And they're great to uh, put on treble hook lures so you can... Uh, store them, let them dry, then put them back in your box. And a lot of my baits are over 10 years old and never had to worry about rust. So if you guys get your bait stuck like I just had, don't pull hard. What you want to do is gently shake the bait. And since the uh, square bill is a floating lure, as soon as you get it uh, dislodged from whatever you're stuck on, It'll uh, float up, and you can reel it back just like that.
Another way you guys can get your lure out is uh, to get stuff, wear a bathing suit, and uh, some waterproof shoes, and go in there and get it. And be sure you empty all your valuables out of your pocket before you go in the water. And the only reason why I was stumbling a lot is because um, I can't see in the water right now because of the algae and the, uh, there's a bunch of rocks jutting out and the uh, footing is very uneven. Usually I'm more coordinated than that. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little uh, demonstration. Another one. Fishing. Oh yeah, it's a good one. I'm fishing a, a point right now, guys. Got this nice, uh, nice bass in this crankbait. Another great spot to uh, fish the uh, square bill because of the uh, rocks. And uh, when you guys are grabbing a big fish, make sure you don't get uh, hooked by these trebles. Try to grab the fish by the body like that. Then you can uh, lip him so you have him secured. All right, I'm finishing up my day fishing the uh, square bill. I just fished for a quick hour before work. I wanted to make sure I got this video up. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, definitely look forward to the next one. There's one. I should be uh, heading over to go to work, but uh, always got to get that last fish in. Fishing a uh, different point this time and fishing close to the shoreline where this uh, wind's blowing towards. So these little guys, I just missed one, but uh, they're stacking up over here. Alright, I think uh, this is going to be it for real. Out of time, gotta get going. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one.